Welcome to Hari's Hobbies, the channel where we discuss the latest tech news and delve into the newest tech products. So, today we're taking a look at whether the GTX 1080 Ti or the GTX 1180 is better and which one you should buy. But before we delve into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to stay updated with the latest tech news related to gaming and PCs. So, as you guys already know, the GTX 1080 Ti is NVIDIA's flagship for the mainstream platform for over a year now. It is an absolute monster with 3584 CUDA cores and 11GB of GDDR5X memory. And it can absolutely crush 1080p gaming, triple monitor 1080p gaming, ultra wide gaming and pretty much everything. And it can even produce a solid 60 frames per second in most if not all modern games at full settings at 4K. However, this card has been out for over a year now and the 10 series itself has been out for over 2 years. So anticipation has started to rise for the next series of GPUs from NVIDIA. We were all hoping that NVIDIA would give us some news about the 1100 series at GTC or at least Computex. However, Mr. Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, actually asserted that the next series of GPUs from NVIDIA won't be coming out for a long time from now. If you guys are interested in my breakdown of what I think Mr. Huang's statement means, then make sure to check out my dedicated video on it. But long story short, even though Mr. Huang said that, the next series of generation of GPUs from NVIDIA is definitely coming out within the next 12 months. So if you don't need an upgrade right now and you can hold out for a couple of months, then should you wait for the GTX 1180 and buy that instead of the GTX 1080 Ti right now? So first, let's take a look at the specs of the GTX 1180. Now these are all rumors and just leaks, so make sure to keep that in mind. But what all these rumors and leaks are suggesting is that the GTX 1180 will pretty much have identical performance to the GTX 1080 Ti as far as CUDA cores and that type of stuff. However, on top of that, it will have GDDR6 memory and be on the 12 nanometer process. So basically, the GTX 1180 will be a GTX 1080 Ti just with GDDR6 memory and be on the 12 nanometer process. Again, if you want all the rumors, leaks, and specs of the GTX 1180, then make sure to check out my dedicated video on it. So specs are great and all, but how will those improvements really affect the day-to-day real-world performance? So starting off, GDDR6 memory is a lot faster than GDDR5X memory, with its data rates being 16GB a second instead of 12GB a second on the GDDR5X memory, so a nice 33% increase. However, this won't nearly produce a 33% increase in frames per second on graphics cards. A much more reasonable estimate would be a nice 10 to 15 frames per second. As for the 12 nanometer process, that will probably boost the GTX 1180 over the GTX 1080 Ti by about 10 frames per second again. So considering all that, the GTX 1180 should across the board beat the GTX 1080 Ti by about 20 frames per second. So are those 20 frames worth the price and especially worth the wait. So, how much will the GTX 1180 cost compared with the GTX 1080 Ti? Well, here's the good news. The GTX 1180 is actually expected to come out for the same MSRP as the GTX 1080 Ti and GTX 1080 at $700. Now, what's even better is that if you guys remember way back when the GTX 1080 came out, the third-party variants were actually $100 cheaper at $600. So we may see that same phenomenon with the GTX 1180 with its third party variants costing $600 instead of $700. So that will save you guys extra $100 right there. So from a price standpoint, the GTX 1180 has a clear win over the GTX 1080 Ti because it provides more performance while costing the same amount or even less. So really, the main concern over the GTX 1180 is is it worth the wait until its release date? So when exactly is the GTX 1180 coming out in the first place? Well, there were a lot of rumors suggesting that the GTX 1180 and 1170 will come out at August based on how SK Hynix, the memory producer for Nvidia, planned to start their GDDR6 memory production at the beginning of summer. However, based on Mr. Jensen Huang's recent comments, that probably won't be true anymore. So a much more reasonable estimate would be in the fall of this year or at the beginning of 2019. I really doubt that Nvidia would want to miss out on the holiday season of 2018, so I think that Nvidia may come out with the GTX 1100 series in October so that they can catch all the sales of the holiday season. However, 
At the same time, NVIDIA is completely dominating the market and there really is no competition forcing NVIDIA to launch the next series of GPUs, so they may just wait till 2019 and see yes before launching the new 1100 series. They are planning to reveal the next architecture at the Hot Chips conference in August. So as a result, so I really believe that the GTX 1100 series will come up before the March of 2019 and maybe in October if Nvidia decides to take advantage of the holiday season of 2018. So more or less about a 6 month wait. So is the 20 frames per second worth those 6 months? Well if you really need an upgrade then I recommend that you guys just buy the GTX 1080 Ti because the performance upgrade is really pretty negotiable and the GTX 1080 Ti is still a great card and will last a very long time. However, if you can wait another 6 months, then I really recommend that you guys wait for the GTX 1180 because it will have a slight edge over the GTX 1080 Ti and it will also have GDDR6 memory and it will be on the new platform, so you can take advantage of all of that as well. But that's just what I think. How do you guys feel? Do you guys think that it's a better option to just buy the GTX 1080 Ti right now or wait for the GTX 1180? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video then make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see more videos just like this one. But until next time, bye!